Welcome back everyone. Rockhaven Customs back. If you always wanted to learn how to lower a Peterbilt or any DCP truck, stay tuned. I get a lot of questions asking how to uh, lower these trucks. So I figure I'd stop and take a minute and show the process I go through on lowering one of these trucks. This truck has not been lowered. It's still sitting at a factory height that come from DCP. So I was just gonna take a minute, go through the process and show you what I do to lower it. Tools you'll need is a flathead screwdriver, pair of pliers and some sort of knife. What I always like to do on these trucks, I always like to remove the bumper. And I've said in the previous videos, there is some black uh, plastic pieces that they like to melt on all the plastic parts they put on. So you just take your knife and go in there and scrape them parts out. And the reason I want to do this is to remove the bumper. So we got our bumper off, kept the pins. And a lot of times on the front of these trucks, as you can see, you have the front cross member that goes across that ties the leaf springs on these trucks together. I like to take a flathead screwdriver and get in behind there and start prying up very gently and it will pull it loose. Also, I like to take the, the uh, tie rod in that they use that uh, ties your spindles together and push down and relieve it, relieve it from the uh, spindle itself. So you've, you've got your spindle broke loose from it. Once you do that, you want to go to the other side and do the same. That release, releases that and gets it out of your way. It keeps you from breaking the, the little, uh, little circles off that they've got, and they're very fragile, especially on an older truck. Then you want to take your screwdriver and get underneath the frame and the, and the leaf spring and just twist up. Sometimes they can be aggravating. And you just wiggle it loose and you've got your leaf spring assembly. Now, on these spindles, they have a small tit on top and a larger tit on the bottom. When you go to lower a truck, you're going to take the passenger side put on the driver's side and the driver's side put on the passenger side. So as we've got this apart, I will go ahead and show you the rear before we start assembling the front back. On the rear, there are some springs right there. You want to take your screwdriver and get up underneath it and always pull it up Take a pair of pliers and just wiggle that sucker out of there. Sometimes they can be aggravating because they get caught because they have little hooks on them. So just be patient and you can get them out. So there's your spring out of your truck. Now we will do the other side. And a lot of times you can just take your screwdriver and just yank it out.
like I said, they can be stubborn at times. You just have to keep working with them. Okay, so that's got the back where the suspension can walk up and down. Now to reassemble the front. This is where it gets tricky. Now, to really lower one of these trucks, um, there's also another way, something you can do. If you look at the truck, you can see the airbags right here. A lot of guys, and I've done it myself, is you can come in here and take a Dremel with your hood flipped up and you can cut this airbag down some and gain a little bit. You don't want to cut too much because this perch will get weak. Also, if you cut it, you will have to come in here and redrill the tops of your airbags so your spindle uh, little points will slide up in there. So we've got our <coughs> truck here, like I said. And another thing that you can look at is when you flip it, originally where your tie rod attached, this point was down. You're going to put it so it's in the up position, but this part will always be towards your rear drives. So you just put your spindle in, take your other side, set it in place, take your springs, set them in place, hold it, put that side on. Get this side on. I'm trying to watch the camera and do this at the same time to make sure that we're in view. A lot of times this stuff is very so small. It takes a little bit to get them in. Need to open my leaf spring back up. We'll go back with this way. All right, we got them both attached. Check your points where your sp springs go. Now I have not put my piece in yet that controls them. I will make sure everything is in place and back together. Now, I will take my tie rod, slide it through. <coughs> Another thing you will need is a pair of tweezers to be able to grab it and snake it through there. Now everybody has their own ways of doing this. This just happens to be my way. So I've got my tie rod in. I will grab it and flip it. Sometimes they go together very easily and sometimes they're a pain. Okay, that one's on.
Take your other side. And there you go. I always like to um, put a little glue back on my points so the front end doesn't fall out. Then take your bumper and reattach it. Put a little glue on it. And there you have it. You have a Peterbilt that's been lowered and it sits closer to the ground. And that is how you do it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it's something that everybody's been asking about from some of the people on the groups on Facebook and Instagram that I get messages for. So thought I'd take just a minute and show you this little trick. Hope everybody has, everybody has a great day. See you on the next video.